Bless and praise be every moment. Be the most holy and divine sacrament. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Bless and praise be every moment. Be the most holy and divine sacrament. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Bless and praise be every moment, be the most holy and divine sacrament. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You expired, Jesus, by the source of life gushed forth for the souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O found of life, unfaithful of divine mercy, and will of the world, and empty yourself upon us. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as the fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as the fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as the fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Eternal Father, I offer thee the body and blood, soul and divinity of thy most well beloved Son, our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and for the sins of the whole world. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. Eternal Father, I offer thee the body and blood soul and divinity of thy most well beloved Son, our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and sins of the whole world. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus, for the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus, for the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus, for the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus, for the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. Eternal Father, I offer thee the body and blood, soul and divinity of thy most well beloved Son, our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and the sins of the whole world. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. 
Oh, the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. Oh, the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. Eternal Father, I offer thee the body and blood, soul and divinity of thy most well beloved Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and the sins of the whole world. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. Holy God, eternal Father, I offer thee the body and blood, soul and divinity of thy most well beloved Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and sins of the whole world. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. For the sake of the most sorrowful passion of Jesus. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. We have the, the litany of the divine mercy and your response will be, I trust in you. Divine mercy gushing forth from the bosom of the Father. Divine mercy, greatest attribute of God. Divine mercy, comprehensible mystery. Divine mercy found gushing forth from the mystery of the most blessed Trinity. Divine mercy and faith of Dubai, any intellect, human or angelic. Divine mercy from whom wells forth all life and happiness. Divine mercy better than the heavens. Divine mercy source of miracles and wonders. Divine mercy encompassing the whole universe. Divine mercy descending to the earth in the person of the incarnate word. Divine mercy which flowed out from the open wound of the heart of Jesus. Divine mercy enclosed in the heart of Jesus for us and especially for sinners. Divine mercy and faith among in the institution of the sacred host. Divine mercy in the founding of the Holy Church. Divine mercy in the sacrament of holy baptism. Divine mercy in our justification through Jesus Christ. Divine mercy accompanying us through our whole life. Divine mercy embracing us especially at the hour of our death. Divine mercy and out the life. Divine mercy accompanying us every moment of our life. Divine mercy shielding us from the fire of hell. Divine mercy in the conversion of hard-hearted sinners. Divine mercy astonishment for angels. Divine mercy incomprehensible to saints. Divine mercy and present all the mysteries of God. Divine mercy lifting us out of every misery. Divine mercy source of our happiness and our joy. Divine mercy calling us from forth nothingness to existence. Divine mercy embracing all the works of his hand. Divine mercy crown of all God's handiwork. Divine mercy in which we are all immersed. Divine mercy sweet relief for anguish the heart. Divine mercy, only hope of despairing souls. 
Divine may the repose of hearts peace and much to fear. Divine may the delight and ecstasy of holy souls. Divine may the inspiring hope against all hope. Let us pray, eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your merciness that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with a great, with, with a great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. And my dear friends, now we are going to consecrate ourselves to the divine mercy. In the silence of our hearts now, let us pledge our lives to the Lord, our families, our children, and every praise that we need. And uh, when we are really struggling with this coronavirus, we pray for the world, we pray for our families, we pray for each of the countries, and we pray that God will remove every, every fear from us. And may the rays of the divine mercy of Jesus radiate into our hearts and minds that we completely trust in God. Jesus, the divine mercy, I consecrate my entire life from this day on to you without any reserve. In your hands, I abandon my past, my present, and my future. From this day forward, make me a true follower of your teaching. Let your divine mercy mesh protect my home and my family from all powers of evil in this world today. May all who have rated never perish, may it be their joy in life, their hope in death, and their glory in eternity. Amen. And now, in the silence of our hearts, please pray for all our needs and intentions. On behalf of the people, let us consecrate. Let us surrender everyone's desires. We are only very, very few to do this service as the government law requires. But may our prayers be extended to everyone. Oh Jesus, through the apostolic anointing that I have received. Together with Pope Francis, all the cardinals and all the bishops, all the priests, with the ministerial priesthood of your anointed, and with the ministerial and the universal priesthood of all your faithful, we surrender the whole world Every nook and corner of the world that may this sickness be gone in the holy name of Jesus. By listening to the name of Jesus, 
Even the devils would, would run away. Jesus, let your name be glorified. Let every sickness be gone. Let every virus be gone in the name of Jesus. On behalf of the world, and on behalf of our parish and all those who are attending to this Holy Eucharistic adoration, Lord, may we be freed completely from fear, worries, anxieties, from sicknesses, and from death. Send your mighty angels to watch over May it not affect us in any way. Lord, you strengthened our faith a little more better. Help us to concentrate on you. Have mercy on each one of us. Have mercy on the world, poor sinners. And have mercy on those who are longing to receive you in communion. Lord, remove this sickness from us forever. We ask this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The benediction Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. 
Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen. We are going to begin the Holy Mass and we will be having the introductory entrance in now. Oh, Those who 
I offer confession today, especially for the forgiveness of sin. And almost all of you are not able to receive that sacramental pardon and the individual confession. At the beginning of this Holy Eucharist, therefore, my dear friends, I would like you to pause for a moment. As though you are going before the priest, before the Lord, kneeling down before the Lord, and thinking about the whole past, asking God to pardon each one of us. That today, through the ministry of the church and through the anointing that God has given to me, that God will grant you pardon and mercy, though we are going to make confession when everything is set later on. Pause for a moment. From the first day of our life till today, O Lord, all the sins and failures and negligences that we have committed, like of charity, sins of omission and commission, Sins of hatred, the sins of jealousy, sins of not having mercy upon the world, upon others. Sins of the times where we could do better, we could be more loving, we could be more charitable. Sins of the time we have judged and criticized and spoiled the name of others, entertaining with jealousy. And every bit of sin, every bit of condemnation that we have made. Lord, forgive us and have mercy on us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words and what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the blessed man of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
O God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindle the faith of people you have made your own. In grace we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp and rightly understand in what form they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the reading. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The whole community remained faithful to the teaching of the Apostles, to the brotherhood, to the breaking of bread and to the prayers. The many miracles and signs worked through the Apostles made a deep impression on everyone. The faithful all lived together and owned everything in common. They sold their goods and possessions and shared out the proceeds among themselves according to what each one needed. They went as a body to the temple every day, but met in their houses for the breaking of bread. They shared their food gladly and generously. They praised God and were looked up to by everyone. Day by day the Lord added to their community those destined to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his love is everlasting. Let the sons of Israel say, His love has no end. Let the sons of Aaron say, His love has no end. Let those who fear the Lord say, His love has no end. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. I was thrust, thrust down and falling, but the Lord was my helper. The Lord is my strength and my song. He was my saviour. There are shouts of joy and victory in the tents of the just. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Peter. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in his great mercy has given us a new birth as his sons by raising Jesus Christ from the dead, so that we have a sure hope and the promise of an inheritance that can never be spoiled or soiled and never fade away because it is being kept for you in the heavens. Through your faith, God's power will guard you until the salvation which has been prepared is revealed at the end of time. This is a cause of great joy for you, even though you may, for a short time, have to bear being plagued by all sorts of trials, so that when Jesus Christ is revealed, your faith will have been tested and proved like gold. Only it is more precious than gold, which is corruptible, even though it bears testing by fire. And then you will have praise and glory and honour. You did not see him, yet you love him. And still without seeing him, you are already filled with a joy so glorious that it cannot be described. Because you believe, and you are sure of the end to which your faith looks forward. That is the salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We have a sequence before the gospel acclamation. Please stand.
Christians to the past convict him of the sacrifice and praise. The sheep are ransomed by the lamb and cries the undefined. Has sin is to his father reconciled. Death with the life contended, compared to strangely ended. Life's own champion slain and lives to reign. Tell us, Mary, say what thou didst see upon the way. The tomb the living did enclose. I saw Christ glory as he rose. The angels there attesting. Shrouded with red clothes, resting. Christ, my hope is risen. He goes before you in reality. That Christ is truly risen from the dead we know. Victorious King, thy mercy show.
is God merciful to us? Or else is God merciful only to some? This question can come upon quite many people now as we face this disastrous sickness. Is God merciful only to some or is, mercy, is God merciful to all of us? Two things, one at the left and one at the right. Why was that God was merciful to the right and not to the left? Why is it that God is not merciful to the one who is living at my right side being stricken by the pandemic virus, the other one is saved. Why is it not God merciful to, why is it God merciful only to some other country, but God is not merciful to some country, death after death. It is good to look into is God just? Is God merciful? I got a, a WhatsApp message, and there was a rich man. I think it was in Italy or in America. I'm not. I'm not sure where it was. Just recently. There was a man who, um, who was able to um, survive from the coronavirus. And then he was able to, he was asked to pay for one day's ventilation charge around $5,000 or something like that. And he started crying. He just started crying. So the doctors and nurses thought, my God, the government has asked, the hospital has actually for one day for him to pay, though he was there for a couple of days, 12, 13, 14, 15 days, he was there. The man said, I'm not crying because I cannot pay. I am crying because for one day when I was kept at the ventilator where I couldn't breathe properly, I needed an artificial breathing. I'm crying because for the last 70 years I had been breathing without any charge. And God was so merciful, God was so generous to me, which I didn't realize or recognize. Have we ever recognized the mercy of God? Have we ever recognized the mercy of God? Each one of us should think that God is merciful. Because the world is not able to recognize the mercy of God, God makes in Faustina to be the agent of mercy. Maybe perhaps there will be a new congregation coming up in the world, preachers of divine mercy, PDM, as St. Faustina was given this mess, this task. My daughter, the Lord told her, you should be the apostle of mercy. Tell the world that I have provided. Keep their trust in me. 
And this is what is being told to St. Faustina. Tell the world I am love, I am love and mercy itself. Let no soul fear to draw near to me, even though it sins as be as like a scarlet. My mercy is greater than your sins and those of the entire world. You know, that's the reason. It's called the ocean of mercy, found the fountain of mercy. I let my sacred heart be pierced with the land, thus opening wide the source of mercy for you. Come then with the trust to draw graces from this fountain. The graces of my mercy are drawn by the means of one vessel only, and that is trust. And under every divine mercy picture, it is written, Jesus, I trust in thee. Jesus, I trust in thee. Saint Faustina became the agent of mercy. And she continues to be. The popes of the olden times maybe neglected the message of God. But John Paul II made it, made sure the mercy of God has to be preached, continuously preached in the world. And a, a day should be dedicated for the divine mercy. And especially as soon as the Easter is over, the next Sunday of Easter should be celebrated the mercy of God, the divine mercy. And this is what Saint Faustina would say. The whole the whole secret of my sanctity lies in three things. Number one, she says, the mercy of God. Number two, she says, the Holy Eucharist. And number three, she tells, the devotion to our Blessed Mother Mary. The agent of the mercy of God Saint Faustina tells, the sanctity that God has given to me is because of my devotion to the divine mercy. I trust in the divine mercy. I understand my sinfulness. The Bible tells it very clearly. Even if your sins are as many as the stars in heaven, even if your sins are as many as the sands of the earth, even if your sins are as, as red like crimson, but still, Jesus' mercy is enough. Just to say a word, and my soul shall be healed. No sin is greater than the mercy of Jesus. And she tells three things. Number one, the mercy of God. Number two, the Holy Eucharist, the Holy Communion, and number three, my devotion to my mother, the mother of Jesus, the mother of the mercy. And today, my dear friends, as we come, let us place our trust in Jesus. You know, we are asked to remind to the people the importance of celebrating this mercy because three or four things are very important. For all those who reside, for all those who say the divine mercy and especially possible at 3 p.m. For all those who keep the divine mercy of the picture of Jesus, for all those who keep the picture of the divine mercy in your homes, 
And for all those who pray at the hour of grace at 3 p.m., and for all those who celebrate, for all those who celebrate the Novena nine days, and for all those who confess their sins on the Divine Mercy Sunday, will be granted indulgences and forgiveness for the entire life. It is a promise that is being given to this great saint, Saint Faustina. And please understand, God is merciful. God's mercy will wait upon us. And we need to pray today. May God's mercy come upon each one of us. The old and the young, the sick and the healthy, those in bondage and those in spiritual communion. May God watch over us. And may you enjoy the mercy of God as we continue to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. Please stand for the profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light from God, from God. Begot and not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for as men and for our salvation he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified and upon his heart, he suffered death and was buried, rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, a confession of baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, a life of the last term. Amen. Merciful and ever living Father, we thank you for the gift of life that you have extended to each and every one of us. Jesus, we ask you to protect our Holy Father, Pope Francis, all the cardinals and all the bishops. Have a mercy on your beloved church. And through their ministry, a lot of people come back with repentance, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for extending our lives and especially those celebrating their birthday. Lord, thank you for looking after us. Thank you for freeing us from every accident, misfortune, and sickness. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our youth. Though we are healthy, Lord, we have to be spiritually healthy. Help us to become more spiritually and help us to walk the way you want us to walk. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we continue to pray for the nurses the health workers, the doctors, the chaplains of the hospitals who are tirelessly working for the COVID patients. Lord, 
protect them. Put your armor and shield. May they not be affected in any way. Have mercy on them. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we continue to pray for all those who have died before us. Especially during these days, thousands and thousands of being killed because of the coronavirus. Lord, not sure about our own death, our own life. Give eternal rest to those who have died and gone. At the same time, Lord, I pray for Christine, for my um, um, anointed yesterday and passed away. And I also pray for uh, Maria Gobel, the sister of uh, Anna Gobel, passed away yesterday. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, let us submit all our praise and petition through the mighty and holy intercession of our blessed Mother Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Please be seated for the offertory.
for his little lamb was taken away to the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, by rising and restored our life. Therefore overcome with past good joy. Every land, every people that dwells in your praise, and in, and in the heavenly powers, with the angel hosting together, the energy hymn of your glory, as day acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, the God of hosts, Lord, you are holy indeed, the sound of all the holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts of each prayer by sending down your spirit upon them like the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly in his passion, he took bread. Giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, and do this in memory of me.
be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Be with you. May this man bring you the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us who receive it. Amen. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment to receive you sacramentally, come and live spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. I thank you, Jesus, my Lord and my Savior. Immaculate Mary, pray and protect me under your mantle. Amen. Behold, it is Jesus Christ. Behold, the Lamb of God broken for us. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word. My soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of His Holy Begotten Son was pleased to confer on you, the gift of redemption and of adoption give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. Amen. May he by whose redeeming work you have received the order of life, the 
gift of everlasting freedom make you heirs into an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you who have already risen with the Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. The mindful the archangel, defend us in the hour of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the evil. May God rebuke him humbly, we pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander throughout the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. My dear friends, I thank you so much for uh, being together, praying together. And I'm sure God is pleased with you for those who have attended for this evening, 3 p.m. Divine Mercy and the Holy Eucharist. You know, there are so many people who are behind all these decorations, especially the serving, altar arrangements, flower arrangements, and uh, um, please say a prayer for all those who are doing all this, and especially those who have uh, gifted to us this divine mercy and uh, this flower arrangements that is being done, and uh, altar serving, and uh, music ministry, and uh, sacristy, and uh, the, 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 the telecasting, and all that. Just say a prayer for their families. Continue to pray for me as we strengthen each other. And I pray every day. And today, we have already around 2.30, we went around the whole premise of the St. Jude and uh, praying the Divine Mercy, ringing the bell and uh, sprinkling the holy water. And uh, whenever I sprinkle the water, I always kept your families along with that. May the power of protection and mercy of Jesus be upon you. And uh, I trust in the mercy of God and tell the Lord we trust in him. Have a lovely evening and God bless you.